Well, after that terrible experience at Taco Bell last night, we decided to redeem ourselves and get our favorite pizza, La Rosa's Pizza. The best thing about La Rosa's is I don't even have to go anywhere. They're delivering it right to us. It's an awesome, awesome pizza. I can't believe I haven't done a review on it yet. Uh, it's absolutely delicious. It is kind of hit or miss with people out of town. We've had a lot of family that have come and tried it, didn't really care for it. Uh, the sauce is what makes it or breaks it for people. We love the sauce. La Rosa's is amazing. Uh, once they get here, we'll I'll do a little review of the food and uh, we'll go over some of that. Okay, guys, La Rosa's is here. First, I wanted to show you these rondos. This is wrapped up in pizza dough with cheese in the middle. Got the pizza sauce. We also got garlic butter. Jess got a calzone. Did you get that well done? Well done. Man, that looks delicious. With meatballs and black olives. <laughs> <laughs> meatballs and black olives. That also comes with their famous sauce here. We love that La Rosa sauce. And I got the small traditional pepperoni, mushroom, and sausage. Looks pretty awesome, guys. We're going to have dinner here, and I'll give you a little short review afterwards. That pizza was a amazing absolutely delicious la rosa's not only has in my opinion the best sauce for pizza but the the toppings are always really fresh crisp like you know how mushrooms sometimes when people put them on pizzas like they'll get all soggy and nasty not these they are crisp the way they cook it everything is delicious uh just couldn't be on here tonight uh but i will describe her calzone a little bit uh she gets it well done and it's, it's amazing. Like if you get a calzone, I don't know really from anywhere else, but if you get one from La Rosa's Pizza, you want to get it well done because when it goes through that second time, it doesn't really like burn anything on the inside, but you get that nice crisp crispness on the calzone, which kind of gives you more of a crunch. And then on the inside, the cheese, you should have seen it. I, I didn't really want to film this while we were eating. We're, watching videos on the TV, some of our favorite YouTubers. And uh, she was pulling it apart and the cheese was just stretching and stretching. Also, those Rondos, I don't know if they make those anywhere else. I've never seen them except for La Rosa's. But it's amazing how they take the bread and they stuff so much cheese in there. And then you get the part at the bottom where it's on like the plate or the thing that they send it through on the oven and all that cheese oozes out on the bottom. And they scrape that off and you get all that crusty cheese around the side. Man, was that delicious. We had to have some redemption for our Taco Bell last night. I know we've been getting a lot of comments on the, uh, the bad experience at Taco Bell. And it was just everything. It wasn't so much just Taco Bell. Which, honestly, the Taco Bell by us has kind of gone down here for a, a while now. We'll eat there every now and then, and that's probably the worst it's been. It seems like most people are in agreement with me about the employee shortage and everything, and that seems to be what is harboring a lot of the problems at Taco Bell's restaurant. One thing I will say about La Rosa's, though, doesn't seem like they're hurting at all, at least at the one that's close to us. Um, they always do everything perfect. Everything's always perfect. We never never have a problem but if we do we've had a couple problems over the years but they've always made it right they they either offer to uh, bring us out the right stuff or they'll they'll credit us we've a couple times they've messed up sandwiches and i was like well and then they offered it to credit us i'm like well okay because i think to myself i can just scrape these other toppings off that they messed up on put a little mayonnaise on it good to go the roses is known for a lot of different things they have a lot of different awesome hoagie sandwiches um, different types of dinners. They have a spaghetti dinner that's amazing. Uh, one thing that I get sometimes, it's the uh, beef ravioli, where they put beef ravioli in their spaghetti sauce, which, whew, that's really good too. And, um, and when you get a dinner, it's like $10, and you get all these big raviolis. You get two rolls and a big, huge salad. I mean, for 10 bucks, it's well worth it. Actually, I think it's $10.99 now, but still worth it. You'd pay $20 for something like this at Olive Garden, so I, I look at it as a, a great deal. And what's nice about La Rosa's, too, is that they're really close. So if we don't want to have it, you know, we can either pick it up or we can have it delivered. Um, really great drivers there, too, and, and they take care of us. 
and you can tell because uh, whenever we order from there it'll say like 40 to 50 minutes and I swear they're here as fast as it's coming out of the oven like they, they take care of us and, and we take care of them too so if you've made it this far in the video the magic word to leave in the comments is meatballs well guys that's my La Rosa's pizzeria review here in Cincinnati Ohio the most famous pizza in Cincinnati uh, in my opinion there, we do a lot of pizza around here I mean there's there's all kinds of uh, mom and pop pizza places which we may do some reviews on those too here eventually but I wanted to do we wanted to have a great meal we always get that from La Rosa's so with all that being said I hope you enjoyed the video I am out and always remember the adventure is out there